بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the fourth part of the expansions which are full of exercises and practices for the English language So today we'll be taking the writing part of the expansion writing here So let's read these together and try to learn what we have to learn today about writing First of all writing prompt Write about a hoax Write about a hoax, if you remember, in our previous lesson we were talking about hoax and uh, pulling tricks on each other, you or your friend. So write about a hoax. Explain the effect the hoax had. Include grammar points from units 2, 3, and 4. So the first exercise here, the first, uh, the first exercise, the writing prompt here to write about a hoax maybe a, a joke or a, a prank that you pulled on, war, on one of your friends. Explain the effect the, uh, the hoax had, the effect. What did they do after that they realized it was a joke? What did they do during the hoax itself? Include grammar points from units two, three, and four. So if you go to units three and, uh, two, three, and four, the grammar points, include these in the, uh, in the article to uh, write your essay. So we have some points here. Let's read them together. Number one, decide on the, uh, decide on the hoax you write uh, about. So you have, of course, you have to decide which hoax you're going to uh, write about. Number two, use a cause and effect chart to organize your ideas. Of course, you have to use a chart to organize your ideas. So you have to use a chart that has cause and effect columns. Remember that cause is something that makes something else happen. From the word itself, cause is something that makes something else happen. And effect is something that uh, is the result of an action. So, of course, cause, we know, it makes something else happen. And effect, it means the result. Number three, write a draft of your essay. So, of course, don't write just one draft, write one, two, maybe a third draft and each time revise it, maybe uh, check with your colleague to revise it with you. Number four here, have a partner read, just as I said, have a partner read and comment on your draft. Use your partner's comments to revise your essay. So number four is to get a help from a friend to read your essay and maybe give you some comments, some hints, some feedbacks to, uh, to uh, correct your uh, essay. Try to brainstorm a few ideas about pranks uh, or hoax you could write about. So maybe you, maybe your colleague with you, try to brainstorm, if you remember what brainstorm, to get many ideas until you reach the final idea. Again, try to brainstorm a few ideas about pranks or hoaxes you could write about. So you can sit with your friend and try to brainstorm, to bounce ideas from each other until you get the final idea, the final prank or hoax to, uh, that you think you could write an essay about. Continuing here, developing your writing transition words. So we'll be uh, reading about transition words, words between sentences here. Transition words help organize your writing. So what's the purpose of transition words? They help to organize your writing. They help tie ideas. So this is the main idea here from, from the word itself, transition uh, words. They help tie ideas. They connect ideas. They tie the ideas together. They help tie ideas and sentences together to create smoother transitions so that readers can follow the events and ideas more easily. So they come between ideas, between sentences to make the transition from an idea to idea or a sentence to sentence much uh, smoother. Here are a few examples. Time transition words, so transition words about time. For example, here, afterwards, before, finally, suddenly, as soon as, during, next, then. So all of these are transition words related to time. For example, you're talking, then you say afterwards, then you come up with the other idea or the other event here. So this, the word afterward is a transition word about time that connects two ideas or two events, two sentences together. Same thing with next, finally, then, and so on. 
cause and effect transition words. So we have cause and effect transition words here. Because of. So this is cause here. Due to. Also the cause here. Since. As a result. This is an effect here. If. Then. Therefore. So all of these transition words are related to cause and effect. Next here. Comparison transition words. So transition words regarding to comparison. Another way. In, this, in the same way, one way, as, likewise, similarly. So all of these transition words, words that connect ideas or connect sentences together regarding to a comparison. Maybe you have an idea about comparing two things, three things together. These are the transition words that you're going to use. Another way, uh, in the same way, one way, as, likewise, and similarly. Contrast transition words, contrast transition words, although, nevertheless, still, however, otherwise, and yet. So all of these here are transition words in their different meanings, in the different uses, whether it's time, cause and effect, comparison, or contrast. So this is the chart that you're going to use. This is the cause and effect chart here. You can write the cause here and the effect here, or let's say the result. Try to think about the hoax you're going to write about. When you decide on the hoax or the prank, write the cause here. The thing that you said, of course, the hoax itself, write the hoax here, maybe, maybe more than one. Then here on the right, you write the effect. What did it do to uh, people, maybe your friends and so on. For example here, find examples of cause and effect in the stories, in the reading on pages 62 and 63. If you remember the reading we took in our, in our previous lesson, let's turn to page 62 and 63 and try to find examples of cause and effect in the same way, in the same chart that I just uh, showed you. This is the reading from our previous lesson. Just to refresh our memory, let's listen to the reading article again. Then we will fill the chart of the cause and effect. Let's listen. In many countries around the world, the first day of April is a day for playing tricks and pulling pranks. Many of the most amusing and memorable tricks that have been played on this day have been perpetrated by the media. Perhaps one of the funniest pranks to have ever been pulled off happened on April 1, 1957. On this day, a well-respected British news show called Panorama aired a segment focusing on a supposed spaghetti harvest in southern Switzerland. The anchorman explained that the mild winter had resulted in a huge spaghetti crop. As the anchorman gave details about the spaghetti crop, video footage was shown of Swiss people pulling fresh, long strands of spaghetti off of spaghetti trees and putting them in baskets. Convincing viewers wasn't very difficult. Apparently, this segment was realistic enough to fool a huge number of people. Hundreds of fascinated viewers called into the television station wanting to find out how they could grow their own spaghetti tree. They were told, place a sprig of spaghetti in a tin of tomato sauce and hope for the best. As one studio worker remembers, the more people called, the harder we laughed. Another nationally broadcast prank occurred in Sweden in 1962. At the time the country had only one television channel, and it broadcast in black and white. The station had their technical expert announce to the viewers that a new technology had been created. Astonished viewers listened as he explained that this technology would make it possible to see color images on their black and white television sets. Accomplishing this was easy, he assured the audience. He explained that all that viewers needed to do to convert their black and white televisions to color was to pull a nylon stocking over the screen. He also advised moving one's head very carefully back and forth to see the best picture. Many viewers got excited, and thousands tried it. Today many Swedes still recall family members running around the house trying to find nylon stockings to place over their television set. Another remarkable prank was pulled by an Australian news program in 1975. On the program that evening it was announced that Australia would be converting to metric time. It was explained that under metric time, 
there would be 100 seconds in a minute, 100 minutes in an hour, and 20 hours in a day. It was also explained that seconds would become millidays, minutes would become centidays, and hours would become decidays. The report had many convincing details, including an interview with South Australia's deputy premier and a shot of Adelaide's town hall clock, with its new 10-hour metric clock face. Many people fell for the trick. Some even got angry about it. One viewer was particularly irritated because, as he explained, he had just bought a new clock and thought that it was now useless. Sometimes it seems the sillier the hoax, the more likely people are to fall for it. So the next time you hear something that sounds too silly to be true, look at your calendar and make sure that it isn't April 1st. So now that we have uh, listened and read the, our previous session, the reading here, let's search for some cause and effect, just as an example, and fill the chart with a cause and effect. So, the first cause, can you, tell, can you give me three examples of cause and effect in the text? So, let's see the first one here, panorama air story about spaghetti trees, panorama air story about spaghetti trees this is the cause this is what happened so what was the result what was the effect very good people called and asked how they could grow spaghetti trees of course there are there's no such thing that is spaghetti trees so the cause here panorama aired story about spaghetti trees the effect that people started to call and ask how could they grow spaghetti trees very good. So give me another cause here. Another cause. Very good. Yes, the Swedish TV told people how they could convert their TVs into color with nylon stockings. Of course, of course, this was in the 60s where black and white TVs and they, uh, the Swedish TV told people to put nylon on the uh, nylon on the, uh, on the on the TV to become color TV. So nylon stockings here. Swedish TV told people how they could convert their TVs to color with nylon stockings. This is what happened. This is the cause. So what's the effect? What's the result of this? Very good. People ran around looking for stockings to put over the TV sets. So give me another one here. Final example. So yes, very good. Australian news program announced that Australia would be uh, converting to metric time. Australian TV program announced that Australia would be converting to metric time. Of course, there is no such thing as metric time. What's the effect here? What's the result? Yes, many people fell for the trick. Some even got angry about it. One viewer was angry because, as he explained, he had just bought a new clock and thought that it was now useless. So people who bought new clocks thought that it was now useless because uh, uh, the, t the country will be changing to metric time. So this is an example of the cause and effect chart that will help you to write your own uh, essay. For example, here, this is an article, for example, the man who thought he had inherited $12 million. Metri uh, uh, Martin received an email claiming that he had inherited a huge sum of money from a bank in an African country. The letter said that a wealthy relative had died and had left him all the money. The letter asked him to send his, uh, all his details and bank account number to the address enclosed in, and, uh, and he would be told how, to, uh, how he could get the money. Martin's dream was to be rich and be able to buy a lot of expensive things. So he, of course this is a prank from an African bank, this is very uh, obvious. So he, and then you can continue by yourself. This is just uh, an idea. What information did the writer include in the first paragraph? If you notice the paragraph, this is the first paragraph. What information? Try to guess the information. Yes, very good. What the prank was that someone, uh, Martin received an email and who the victim was, Martin. So from the first sentence, you can see what was the prank and who was the victim. The victim was Martin, and the prank was that he received an email claiming, claiming that he inherited 
a huge sum of uh, money. So here's a language builder for you. Features of some of the transition words. Some features of the transition words. These transition words can be used to connect clauses. To connect clauses here. Before, as soon as, na, uh, since, if, and although. For example, you should practice before you read aloud. So, so before is connecting these two clauses. Although Hull fooled the public, comma, he never went to jail. So although is connecting these two clauses. The other words on the, on the list cannot be used to connect sentences. Writers must use a period and start a new sentence. It is incorrect to use a comma. For example, the correct way, they, bur they buried the treasure in, nine, in 1868, full stop here. Then the men dug, dug it up in 1869. The incorrect way is to use a comma. So you have to use the full stop. So here's an exercise for you. Complete the sentences right with the transition words from the chart. There may be, uh, there may be other possible answers, of course. Time transition words. We yell surprise and turn on the lights. Jack comes into the room. So what's the answer here? The time transition word, the correct one here is? Yes, of course, as soon as Jack comes into the room. So, and turn on the lights as soon as Jack comes into the room. At first, the second one here, at first the boys didn't understand why everyone was laughing. They realized it was all a prank. So the second one here, yes, very good. Finally, they realized it was all a prank. Next exercise here, the next sentence. First, you need to make the sauce. You cook the pasta in boiling water. So these are steps. First, you need to make the sauce. Next, you cook the pasta in boiling water. Very good. So all of these are time transition words. Let's go to a cause and effect transition word. They had to close the roads, the storm. So the answer here, yes, very good. Because of the storm, not because the storm, because of the storm. So cause and effect, we use the word because. The man believed the story about the clock. He called the office to complain. So focus here on cause and effect. The man believed the story about the clock. Therefore, he called the office to complain. So therefore is an effect transition word. He believed the story. They didn't have the heart to tell him it was a joke. So the first gap here, he believed the story. They didn't have the heart to tell him it was a joke. So the answer here is, yes, since he believed the story, they didn't have the heart to tell him it was a joke. Comparison transition words here. To trick someone is to put salt in the sugar bowl. Comparison here. To trick someone is to put salt in the sugar bowl. So, yes, one way to trick someone is to put salt in the sugar bowl is to put a frog in their bed. Is to put a frog in their bed. So another uh, comparison transition word here is another way. Another way is to put a frog in their bed. Last one here, contrast transition words. I'll come if I can. You will just have to start without me. Again, I'll come if I can. You will just have to start without me. The contrast from the chart, of course. So the answer is yes. Otherwise, you'll just have to start without me. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu ala lanta astaghfirka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.